Hey there, busy people, and welcome to the 30th episode of Pokemon Insurgents. If you missed last episode, spoilers are about to follow, please check that out prior to watching the next part of the video. Continuing with spoilers in 3, 2, 1. We did take on the Kepler City Gym, and we beat Anastasia pretty handily. Uh, afterwards, we went down to visit her in her workshop and found out she was building armor for the Perfection Cult. Um... And Tayan showed up with his... He caught a Zekrom. That's who the armor was for. Tayan had a battle against Orion who showed up. And he took his Reshiram, which he's now got Kyrum, Reshiram, and Zekrom. Nothing good can come from that. Um, and so Anastasia said she had no idea she was working with a cult leader. She'd never seen her buyer before. She just had a project she was working on. I believe her. I honestly do. So... We have to get going. We have to get to another city, another gym. Um, and we got to go and stop the cult, which that's defeating... I'm not going to ruin it. I'm not going to ruin it. But we're getting close to the end of this, this uh, the current edition of Insurgents. And we'll definitely come back once there's more out to play. I'm really enjoying this game. Um, let's go over who we have on our team. But before we do so... Please, don't forget to leave a like if you enjoy these videos. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more like them. Because that's when we're going to show them off. It's when you're subscribing and you're coming out and you're, you're going to see it when it airs next. Um, so here we are. We have Moonblossom, the Delta Roserade with Dark Pulse, Lovely Kiss, Moonblast, and Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt was a TM we got from Anastasia. It's pretty awesome. We have Crocodile, the Delta Muck with the Rocky Helmet. Earthquake, Rock to Minimize Return. I really should go through my TMs to see if there's any other moves we can teach him. Although, that is a pretty solid move set. Uh, we have Cleaver, the Delta Scyther, with Icicle Crash, Low Sweep, Psycho Cut, and Night Slash, holding the Wide Lens to boost his accuracy. We have Delta Charizard, Gulazard, with Delta Gulazardite, Shadow Ball, Lunar Cannon, which is like Solar Beam except the Dark, uh, Dragon Pulse, and Incinerate. Ice Cream, the Azu Meryl with Sea Incense. Only non-Delta on our team, and I'm still working on that. With Aqua Tail, Super Power, Rollout, and Play Rough. And we have Delta Snorlax, the Pudding. With Leftovers, Power Whip, Crunch, Yawn, and Rest. Um, so, again, if you're excited for this episode, leave a like. We are going to head into, I believe it's Merc Forest next. Uh, this is where the gym is. This is where the lab is, which we also found out that we could buy some armors, but they're not... They're armors for Pokemon that we aren't using. Um, and honestly, I'm not even sure if we can get Leaf Annie. Um, we could have a Tyranitar. And our encounter for Route 11 is... Why not? Which we hatched an egg of, so we do not, do not have to catch him. I am going to enjoy Dark Pulsing you. Bye bye Dupes Claus. It's like Santa Claus as a present. I'm a prodigy. I graduated from a trainer school I did recently, and I'm already one of the best trainers in the region. Don't brag, little girl. Said Jen. A Dedene. That's actually a bit problematic. If I didn't have Delta Muck. Which I totally do. Right here, see? <coughs> oh, that thunder doesn't affect me. That's weird. I'm sorry, I should have switched into Azumaro for you. Oh, we don't have Sap Sipper anymore. I really hope the Dene doesn't use any grass type moves. Not that it matters. Um. Uh, so anyway, BZ people, you're probably looking for your question of the day. And the question of the day, that's going to hurt, is... What is your favorite type of restaurant to go to? As far as I'm concerned, we're trying to learn Recover. I'll take Recover over Minimize. 
Although I don't know why, I just have potions. Which, I should buy some more of those. How, how did you beat my invincible Pokémon? You had a squirrel and a mouse. Not exactly the most powerful of pairs. So, as I was saying, our encounter for Route 11 is not going to be this thing. I don't even know why I'm taking the time to fight it. Um, so anyway, my favorite type of restaurant is a Chinese buffet. Okay, we can get a Sceptile. That's pretty good. Um, Moonblast? That's going to do a lot of damage. Oh, I guess it's neutral? So, Fairy Resist Bug. Good to know. We threw one Ultra Ball instead of the whole 15. I mean, why throw more than one when this guy knows that he should stay in the ball? So you went for a Dragon-type move on me. I'm gonna give you a kiss for that. Oh yeah, he has speeds. And we missed? Uh, let's go out into Crocodile... No, let's put it... Crocodile... I don't know! How's the marrow? Oh, I see. You don't want to go for your grass type moves now. Let's throw another Ultra Ball. Um, so yeah, as I was saying, my favorite type of restaurant is a Chinese buffet. Because I love Chinese food. And buffet lets you get a whole bunch of Chinese food. Different types for the price of one plate in the jungle. Its power is without equal. The Pokemon carefully grows trees and plants. It regulates its body temperature by basking in sunlight. Let's see here. Septile. You're a bushy Pokemon. You're a tree. A tree lizard? I'm gonna call you... I'm gonna call you Slice. Because you got the leaf blade thing going on. You were the first one with the, the old slicing thing going on. So let's head back into the city, heal up Moon Blossom, and we will continue on our way. Um, I might have to do a recording at the in the nighttime for one of the s villages up ahead because there is a. Po a special event Delta Pokemon that only shows up at night. Um, I'll definitely have to check that out. And if it's anything better than Sceptile, a regular muck, well we are definitely not going to stay in here against that. That thing will destroy us. And quick, into the water. With the... Uh, with the scuba gear. So, I think this is technically still part of Route 11, so I don't think we get another encounter in here. And, time to surface. Let's see, is this still Route 11? It did not say anything different. So it is still part of Route 11. And there's Tropiuses on this part of Route 11. Let's Moon Blast them. Tropiuses are pretty bulky. Not bulky enough to survive two of these, of course. It's like a, a, a cool dinosaur thing. Gotta love it. So, I've been battling for years, kid. You're way out of your league. If by my league, you mean the Elite Four, yeah, I am kind of far away from them, aren't I? Uh, out comes a Zangoose. Um, Dark Pulse? We got speed? Isn't that like Zangoose's thing? Is it supposed to be super speedy? Moon Blossom, what is your speed at? He's about to send us to Viper. That we will definitely switch out for. You know what, Cleaver? 
we're going to give you a chance to shine here because you do have the cycle cut. So, cycle cut, show us what you got. Okay, not bad. Uh, that's potentially bad, but I think we should be okay. Yeah, we still all speed because the snake can't move that quickly. It just can't. It's a it's a snake. And there we go. We'll continue on here on Route 11. What's up with you, Shades? I EV train and IV breathe all my Pokemon to make them as strong as they can be. You should just love your Pokemon the way they are. Especially since it won't make a difference. He sends out his Grumpig. To which I am immune to your moves. I'm just gonna Dark Pulse you. Ooh, your EV and IV training really is not paying off, is it? You know, I've always wanted to use a Grump Pig because it's a nice bulky psychic type. A Venomoth. Let's see, your Bug and Poison. Which means you're not flying, so take this earthquake. Although uh, that's neutral. I'm gonna drop rocks on you. That's not resisted. <coughs> psychic Bug of Speeds. And we slowed you down a bit. Not enough for us to outspeed you. That Rock Tomb really is just for the benefit of the other members of our team. Um, so yeah, I have a very big day of recording ahead of me. I think I want to get one more episode recorded yet this morning. And that will get put me at all of next week being done. I know that we, we're we not going to finish this episode. We got... Wait, how can you switch your item with your opponent if you don't have an item? Did we get anything out of that? No, we didn't. He just took my item. Well, that's not fair. I already gave you a special attack boost, and you're just... Boosting your special attack. Give me back my deep sea tooth. I love the spike psychic speechless. I'm not going to lie, but I'm sorry about that loss. Well, you should have known better than challenging a guy with a Delta Roserade. And oh, this is the town with the. Well, we'll find out right here. Known throughout the Torin region for this fabulous Savari zone. We're not talking about no friend Savari rubbish either. This is the real deal. So that's exciting. Um, I do know that I think the Safari zone is broken up into six distinct areas. So we will have to decide how we want to handle that. Ooh, we can buy Moo Moo Milks. Yeah, give us, like, all of them. That probably was very silly, but uh, we're making decent cash. Here we grow food and crops for all over the region. Between our farmland and our safari zone, our town makes a fair amount per year. Well, that is good. I am so happy for you guys. I want to catch that Mill Tank. Because, I mean, we've already seen Mill Tank has a new Mega Evolution that was pretty sweet. That was kind of weird. And I want that super potion. Oh, it's a hyper potion. Even better. What's up with you? My Dawn Fun helps guard the plants from pesky Pokemon. Pokemon like Yam Mega and Bunnelby are always trying to munch on our hard work. I would think that Yan Mega are... Well... Yeah, your Dawn Fan's really not going to do much against them. Hello. On one hand, I'm so glad we have people like the Augur to protect us. But on the other, well, he's so good at his job, we don't need a police force. I've been laid off, which really sucks. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, man. What's up with all those? You guys seen those screen glitches? A Mawile light? Who believes that sitting there? Bulbasaur, Charmander, Squirtle, and this guy. 
Hey, listen, do you think you could do me a favor? I lost an item of mine in the desert of the Safari Zone, near one of the rocks. If you could find it for me, I'd be honored to give you a reward in return. But that is a potentially sweet deal. What is going on? Is it just whenever those swallows are loading? The northern part of Torin has way less people than places like Helios. It's a shame, really. It's a lot harder to make friends. Oh, I'm sorry. You want to be my friend? Do you think someone as cool as the Augur will ever come to a town like ours? I'd like to think we're important to the region, and that he'd recognize that. I'd be honored. I've always wanted to meet someone famous. What about me? I got six or five of the six gym badges. I lost a Pokemon battle to my friend because of Toro's crap luck. So I missed the Focus Blast when it counted. I've lost the last 2,134 battles because of that miserable luck. Yeah, that's why I don't go for moves like Focus Blast. Rumbling sounds coming. So there's... I have did some research. And there is a... Um, a legendary Pokemon in the Safari Zone, but you cannot get to it at this point in the game. Okay, so everyone's talking about the Safari Zone. Yeah, you could be a trainer. I don't know if you could be one like me, though. Oh look, it's a Zoroark. <clears throat> Are you alright? Don't panic, I'm only here to talk. You've become something of a legend back in the Cult of Darkrai. Everyone's heard about your escape. You have the whole group looking for you. I'm not interested in that though. I was actually able to meet Darkrai on my own, without using that weird machine Persephone likes. Turns out Darkrai doesn't want ritual sacrifices and evil done in his name. Most legendaries don't. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if Raquaza rescued East somehow. Persephone and Darkrai's goals are completely different. She doesn't want world domination or control, she just wants revenge. And you need to stop her from getting it. Soon she'll find a way to control Darkrai. If you let her, another legendary will be enslaved. Not only that, but you and that green-haired girl have your own reason for saving it. It may have the secret to curing Harmony's father and thus freeing Audrey's son. I apologize for taking your time. Believe it or not, you and Darkrai might share a common goal. Have a nice day! Well, that was really kind of random. Um, so yeah, now we just found out that apparently Darkrai's not evil. He doesn't like the cult. But, um... Ooh, we got Max Repels. And Super Repels. But no regular repels. <coughs> Excuse me, busy people. See, so yeah, welcome to little Nazca Town. There really isn't much to do here if you're not in the farmland. We just came from Kepler, and there really wasn't that much to do there either. There was a. Oh, so what we were in when we were at the black market was actually a. Um, old abandoned military base and we got safari balls and let's see here I know there's supposedly a super rare Pokemon up in this area and our first encounter in this area is a Zeb strike up <clears throat> which is not the Pokemon I was looking for so we're throwing some rocks, and our encounter ran away. Isn't that just lovely? Okay, so that guy told us that he lost a picture in the safari zone in the desert area, and we just wasted so many steps doing that. Now the desert area is the southwest area. There are heat moors here, but we lost our encounter. There's like two... I'm wearing two hats, it looks like. Oh, how do you like that? You can get leaf fannies here. So this, I think, is a different area. Because it's that Lotus Safari Zone. So, we can get an encounter here. And our encounter is a... 
Crocodile. That's pretty awesome. <clears throat> Did not mean to set throw a safari ball right away. Unless we catch him. Don't run away. Here, have some food. Oh, we, here, have some more food. Get in this ball. <clears throat> yeah, I didn't think so. He's eating. Hey, you crazy croc. So we made him angry. He was eating. You know, Gen 5 was the gen where they took water Pokemon and made them into ground types. I mean, here we got a crocodile. It was Hippowdus, and I guess we just shouldn't worry about catching Pokemon here. I wonder if his arena trap will stop me from running away. It's one of these rocks that has the thing that we're looking for. There we go! So there you have it. We got the man's picture, so we can go and expect some sort of reward. I wonder what he could potentially reward us with. I think this is another section of the Safari Zone, so let's go for a nice little surf. See what they have hiding in the water for us. A for alligator. That's pretty boss. Not gonna lie. Two shakes, and it's gone. <clears throat> so that kind of stinks. I mean, I don't know about you, but I really would have liked to have a for alligator, especially since there's a mega for alligator. Let's see here. Um, <clears throat> you know what? Let's just get out of here. I mean, there's really nothing more for us since we uh, already messed up our encounters. Um, so I know, I know, busy people, you're really enjoying this game. It is a fantastic great game. My compliments to the maker of this game. I should really look up who made it because I know it's on Reddit. And I know it's a fantastic game. Um, but beyond that, I really don't know. Um... So one more thing to do before we leave this town. Is it in here? Nope. <clears throat> we get to go give the guy his photograph back. And he is in here. Hey, listen, you think you can do me a favor? Lots of items. Da, 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 da. You managed to find it. That's amazing. Thank you so much. I don't you don't know how much this means to me. My thanks. We can get any one of these Pokemon. I think I have to take Squirtle. He's like my favorite starter. And Squirtle. What kind of a name should I give to you, Squirtle? I'm gonna call you... You become a Blastoise. I'm calling you a War Turtle. War Turtle was transferred. Can we take all of them? Nope. Sorry, that was just me being greedy there. I'm just a Mr. Greedy Panth. And the Pika Bus, which is like a party bus, except you missed the party. And we're going through this cave, which means we could get an encounter here. But nothing's popping out at me, so... Oh, there we go. <clears throat> Just had to step in the right tile. Okay, so I think you're just straight up a rock type. So let's lovely kiss you. And your endeavor failed. Why won't you go to sleep? Seriously, just sleep. 
Why do I always forget I have a quick ball? Or quick balls? Is it multiple? It's a quick ball. If this doesn't work, I'm throwing a dusk ball. Yeah. So, dust ball should be better because we're in a cave. It's definitely not dusk. And there we go. We caught ourselves a Rampardos. Um, I really don't have a good name for it. Rampardos, the headbutt Pokemon. Its powerful headbutt has enough power to shatter even the most durable things upon impact. <coughs> Is that so? Uh, you're a female Rampardos. You're the headbutt Pokemon. I'm gonna call you a hardhead. No. Um, I'm gonna call you Headstrong. There we go. Headstrong. There we go. Headstrong, because you know it's got the hard headed for the headbutting. Um. So we have made our way into the Merc Forest, and this looks like a pretty good spot to end today's episode. I want to thank you guys for coming out and checking this episode out. If you're still enjoying the series, even though I think there's not too much left after this. There's like three major eventish things yet and that's that's going to be the end of the, our adventure until more of the story comes out so don't forget to leave a like if you're enjoying this don't forget to answer the question of the day don't forget to subscribe if you're not already a subscriber but i have to get out of here because i want to get one more episode recorded yet today at least one more yeah that's, that's like a full week's worth maybe yeah uh, anyway that's for me to decide Thank you for coming and checking this out. We are Bork and Zim Gaming. Chill, bro.